What we just heard there was a brief um, snippet of Free Falling. So we're looking at this song because it's a because it's a good song, um, but also because it's a good introduction to suspended chords. So um, I'll just briefly mention the theory behind suspended chords because it's normally a question that that comes up. Um, so a major chord consists of the first, third and fifth note of the scale that the chord comes from. So if it's a C major chord, then you've got the first note of the C major scale, the third note of the C major scale and the fifth note of the C major scale. Um, a suspended chord gets rid of the third note and we replace that third note with either the second note or the fourth note. So a C sus 4, for example, would be the first note, the fourth note and the fifth note. Um, what you create when you play a suspended chord is um, is dissonance. So that is um, classically considered a transitionary or temporary musical sound um, that you pass through, um, and then you move on to create consonance, and that's harmony. Um, the result of that is you have something that sounds quite unusual. Um, or, um, or creates tension and then you go to something that sounds normal and creates resolution and that's what we have in this in this in this song now that's um, not everybody's um, that's not going to float everybody's boat but if you are interested in that then um, I'm more than happy to um, to work with you on a one-to-one -one basis and um, we'll go out and have a glass of water because water is good for the brain and we will discuss that okay so enough um, musical theory now that I've sent you to sleep if you wake up and we will look at how we play this so the recording um, requires a capo on the fourth fret because I know that not all of us have capos yet I'm gonna play it without so um, so here we have D chord on the in the second fret obviously um, and then to the D sus4, we add the fourth finger on. That's a merry coincidence and quite a, a good way of remembering um, how to play this chord. Um, we need for the D sus4, we need the fourth finger involved. So that's on the third fret, first string. Strum that twice. Then we take it off, which brings us back to the D. Keep the third finger where it is. Lift these two up onto the fourth and third strings. And that brings us to A sus4. So we've got so the D is getting strummed from the fourth string, and then the A from the fifth string. California Dreaming is a good song for us to to look at to get our rhythm arm moving a little bit quicker, but also to try out some improvising with as well. Um, a word on that a little bit later, um, but for now should we have a look at the rhythm. Again, there's a capo on the recording of this track. Um, it's on the uh, fourth fret. So let me just check. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the fourth fret. Um, okay, so Let's work the rhythm through first. So if you just play an A minor chord, um, so again we are in the um, without the capo, so it's an A minor in its usual position, and we have a rhythm that sounds something like this. Final down up is done with a flick of the wrist, so it happens quite quickly.
Our mm-hmm. third and final song that we looked at in week number two was um, House of the Rising Sun, which is a stone cold classic. Um, again, in the key of A minor, so do something with the A minor pentatonic scale with, um, on top of this, by all means. Um, really like to only show you the picking pattern or what the picking pattern should sound like so admittedly this is easier to do with a plectrum um, I'm going to play an A minor chord I'm going to pick the root note which is the fifth string and then I'm going to drag the plectrum slowly across the string so we're getting this broken chord effect and on the way down, we pick downwards, and then on the way back up, we pick upwards. Um, that's it for this week um, choose a song that you like choose two songs that you like um, but try and challenge yourself with them songs so um, if you're looking at bar chords um, or you feel like you're ready to start using bar chords and you're playing frequently then, um, then now is the time to do it if you fancy having a go at playing some lead guitar then we can play lead guitar um, with the mamas and papas and um, the um, the animals track as well and I will look forward to seeing you next week and hearing what you have been doing in practice <laughs>